Well, it is a blisteringly hot day. You may have heard, as I was walking in, the thunder. It's rolling in. <laughs> Driving down here, I'm on the uh, east coast here. It was pouring after a really hot sunny day. And I think that's what I outrun getting here. So uh, I'm gonna rush down to the cave here, which uh, I have wreckied once the other day, just to check it was here and it existed. <laughs> Hard to find these things through folklore sometimes. But uh, here it is, a bit of graffiti in it, but uh, it's quite nice. We'll talk about the history of it a bit later. But uh, yeah, the rain's just starting to come through the canopy a bit now. Nice views of the sea over there. Hopefully if this rain stops, I'll, I'll get over to the cliff a bit. Maybe even cook over there, we'll see. Yeah, I've got the refuge of the cave for the rain. Someone's been kind enough to leave some firewood here. I saw signs that there was a fire here at some point. I'm probably going to use my wood burning stove to uh, try and keep it clean. But yeah, you can see it has been a bit graffitied unfortunately, but I'll definitely make use of this. Nice cuppa. I've had a lot of thunder, but it's only been a little bit of a shower. Not had that uh, downpour that I thought was coming. I suppose there's still time. I'm gonna stay by the cave for now. But um, it'd be nice to get out on the cliff. Maybe for the sunset, we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna stay put until it looks like the coast is clear. <laughs>
Well, this is the spot I wanted to come out to. It's just down from the cliff and there's this big old rock here. I did, when I first saw it, want to come and bivvy on it um, on a separate night from doing the cave, but uh, it's not very flat. I think you could shim yourself up, but you wouldn't really want to roll off it. You're not going to fall right down there, but it's still a bit of a drop. But uh, it is nice. It is quite covered in ants, which is a bit unfortunate. But uh, shouldn't be too much trouble. Yeah, so I think I'm going to cook a spot of late lunch, early dinner here, and then do a like a midnight snack back at the cave. But it'd be nice to see the sunset out here. Already looking beautiful. Got a few bits of wood with me. I've got this nice chunk here. There's nothing out here on the cliff. I had to get it all in the woodland. To level this out a bit, so probably yeah, about perfect. Put them big chunks in. Use a fire starter here. Got the pan on and I've just added in some chicken which is pretty much defrosted it was frozen when I brought it out I'm going to add in some chorizo and because it'll all do in roughly the same time some mixed veg that I pre-prepared some courgettes, some peppers, onion Beautiful. What a beautiful spot to cook. May have to come back here and do a lunch or something one day. I think we're going to get a nice sunset. Love them colours, them Mediterranean vegetable colours. We're almost there. I was trying to keep it relatively lightweight, so just going to read it straight out of the pan. 
Hmm. I haven't even seasoned this. Just wanted the vegetables and that. The um, tree so obviously has seasoning in it, but yeah, healthy for me. <laughs> hmm. Love it, being down on the coast in the summer for camping. The cave's just in a bit, it's about five minutes walk in through the uh, wood there. But uh, yeah, it's tempting just to stay out here, <laughs> as uneven as it is. It's time for a punk. Nice brew dog. Good these little cans for camping as well. You don't overdo it and uh, obviously not too much to carry. Keep popping open. <laughs> Been a lovely evening out here. Just uh, waiting for the sun to go over the brow of the hill there. Mm. Cheers everyone. Yeah, just gonna soak this up and enjoy it for a bit and then uh, make it back to that camp and probably have a little something to eat another beer or two and uh, set up the uh, bivvy bag oh, pretty sure I'm going to come back up here for uh, breakfast though make the most of it Time to get the stove going again now for a little bite to eat. Just got a few, there's plenty of twigs and stuff around here. I've cleared out the cave a little bit, so there's a bit more room now. Burger. And 
just a few onions as well. Just about there. And I'm using like a naan bread as a burger bun, just easier to transport. It's already getting late, so I think it's time for a cuppa before setting up the sleep system. about this cave it's a hermit cave um, I think back in 1920 or something like that I can't quite remember now there used to be a hermit that lived here and on the entrance there's some holes with a couple of bits of some metal in there which was for a door at the back there I'll show you in a cutaway there's an opening and um, that's where he had a fireplace or a stove or something apparently but yeah he used to live in here and I think the owner of the land at the time kicked him out in the end and that's the last person to have lived in the hermit cave. I suppose enough room for one. So it's quite fitting really to spend the night here. It's uh, eerily quiet in this woodland. You can just about hear the sea. It's about a five minute walk to that ledge I was on which I'll go back to in the morning for breakfast. But. Uh, yeah, you hear every little sound. On top of this big rock formation is birds roosting and occasionally some leaf litter or something to fall down the back there where the uh, fireplace used to be. Well, I've cleared out where someone had done a makeshift bench here. Uh, it's the best place for my bivvy bag that I've got with me today. Just a snug pack bivvy, hooped one. Well, it's uh, getting on now, about midnight I think, it was getting on anyway to be honest, <laughs> but 
by the time I got down here after watching the sunset, these late summer evenings. So I've got my summer sleeping bag and my trichology in here. Definitely doing the bug net up in here. Probably gonna leave the sleeping bag open. It's still quite warm. early to catch the sun, sunrise. I well, made it back to my rock. <laughs> Stayed up there at the top of the cliff for a sunrise, but it didn't really happen, unfortunately. Still, it was beautiful just to see the sun come up. And yeah, lovely spot for a little bit of breakfast. I remembered I haven't got all that much for breakfast, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to enjoy making it anyway. When um, when I was bedding down last night, I didn't mention it, but um, there was millions of little eyes watching me. <laughs> Never been in a woodland with so many foxes. Just kept seeing the two little eyes with my head torch, looking at me and kind of circling me, wondering what the hell was going on. <laughs> Breakfast is toasted tea cakes and I've got some jam to go with them. Mm. <laughs> 
this is number two and that's all I've got no bacon I really wish this uh, rock was flatter be such a nice bivvy spot you might be able to shim it up like a under the mattress but I wouldn't want to roll off <laughs> I definitely do want to come back with the bush box and do a bit of a, a proper cook on here though. I think that'd be quite cool. I was just walking back past the cave here and I thought fitting place just to sign off and thank you guys for watching. Just a, I don't know, 15 minute walk if that. Back to the truck now. Whew, it's a hot one already. <laughs> well I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you on the next one very soon. Goodbye for now. <laughs>